beautiful sunny day and it's a perfect day to get out and learn how to ski. A couple of things you can think about if you're a beginner though is first of all how you dress. You need to dress appropriately. If you look at a Justina, she's got good gloves on, nice jacket, wool gloves typically not very appropriate. If they get wet, they stay wet, you end up with very cold hands. Better to have some kind of waterproof jacket on and at the same time lots of layers underneath, not just one big layer and then it traps the heat in and you're going to be nice and warm. Waterproof pants and some things that people sometimes forget about is on the inside of the pant there's sometimes a little snow cuff. This needs to go on the outside of the boot rather than on the inside. If you tuck it in on the inside and then do your boots up it can actually end up being a little uncomfortable. So better to have it on the outside and then she obviously has her own boots but you might be in rental boots. The next thing that we think about as a beginner is our skis. How do we put skis on? What are they for? Well these particular skis, just like all skis, have a set of bindings on them. We have a toe piece and a heel piece and the heel piece is the part that is very important. If this part is down we can put the ski on and when we press down it clicks up and holds our foot in place. Very important to remember that if you want to take the ski off you have to push this part down. Typically you use a pole or your other ski. If the ski falls off then again you also have to make sure that this part is pushed down before you can put the ski back on. A lot of people forget to do that and then wonder why their ski's not going on. Always click it down then try and put your ski on. So we're going to learn how to slide around on one foot just to try it out and give yourself some balance. So Justina, if you would like to put on any particular ski, there's no left or right, just put your toe in, your heel on the cup, and your heels in the cup, push down nice and hard until it clicks. What if there's snow on my boot? That's a very good point because this is a little sticky today. What you can do is you can just rub the bottom of your boot, you have some poles that you can get off, you can even tap your pole on the bottom or you can scrape it across the top of the bindings to try and scrape the ski off, the snow off. There we go and all we're going to do is just go for a little slide across the slope and I'll put mine on. Now the important thing as a beginner is to get used to the feeling of sliding. It's not a very natural feeling but it's the fun part of skiing. So let's see if we can push ourselves along and see how far we can slide. And we try and balance on that one foot. Because the next thing we're going to learn is how to balance on two skis. The key thing now is to improve the turning, to take her on to other parts of the hill, increase the terrain that she's using and control and maintain the speed that she's got. So we're going to go through one of the most important things on this and that's balancing on the outside ski. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go do it. Where should I be standing to get the most out of my ski? Well ideally you should be standing in the middle of your outside foot and that helps you balance through the turn. Okay. So now that we're coming down the magic carpet we eventually build up a little bit more speed and as we turn we have to balance towards our outside ski and that'll help us give us some grip and some control over our direction. And how will I know which one's my outside ski? Well, if you're turning to the right, it's actually going to be the opposite side, it's your left. And if you're turning to the left, it's going to be your right side. So I hope you've had fun. Um, now that you're turning and you're controlling your speed and direction, the, the hill opens up to you. You can go lots more different places. Um, and what we've done is we've looked at just a couple of the very basic things that we come across very often from beginners, such as the gear, getting it comfortable, and then balancing towards the outside ski. There's a lot of other stuff in there, and the best thing you can do as a beginner is take a lesson from a pro and then go have lots of fun with it.